Hi, it's Brian Jessen speaking with Wintrust Mortgage. Here's your Friday, May 17th update, economy, housing, and mortgages. Uh, first, we'll talk about jobless claims. They've actually went up the last few weeks to the 220, 230 range. They're around 200 for a long time. So a little bit higher, which is good in a way because we want the economy to slow down. Um, the Fed's still higher for longer, higher for longer. Really no rate decreases till September, probably is the earliest, but that's better than the last few weeks. They're actually talking about having no decreases this year. So we'll have to see how that works out, but still improvement for us as mortgage people. Inflation at the producer level, the manufacturing level, actually came in a little higher than it had the previous month. It's around 2.2% without food and energy, 2.4%. They want it to be about two, remember. Consumers actually improved a little bit. So that actually helped the market a little bit, running 3.4% overall. 3.6% without food and energy. Again, they still want to be two. So we're pretty far away from 2% on that, which is why the higher for longer is staying. And uh, consumer spending, though, it's flattening out. So people have spent a lot of money. You're starting to see uh, people getting deals like at Starbucks and so on because spending is starting to flatten out, which is usually in front of recession. So we'll have to see if that continues. Um, housing, new construction is slowing down. New permits and, and um New starts have actually started slowing down quite a bit. We'll have to see if that continues as well. And mortgages might have peaked a couple weeks ago with some of this more positive lower inflation data on the consumer side. But if they are going down, they'll be great for us as mortgage people and in the real estate community. So overall, good and bad news. But Brian Jessen, Winterest Mortgage, please like and share this video. Have a great weekend and let's have a conversation. Thank you. Bye now.